some uh, solved examples of hydrocarbons so this uh, examples are in the uh, flow chart mode so let us see the solved examples and understand so is, it is an alkene a compound is alkene so on ozonolysis so you will get two product that is called acetone and aldehyde aldehyde we don't know which uh, compound is one this acetone on uh, hydrolysis uh, in presence of this weak acid hcn you will get an hydroxy acid and uh, this aldehyde is oxidized in and is converted into uh, b and b gen carboxylic acid some carboxylic acid and a uh, further b is reacted with the br2 in presence of red phosphorus it will give you c and again c is hydrolyzed and you will get the product called hydroxy acid so from where will we will start so we know this thing only acetone so from acetone we can get this product hydroxy acid so let us see how we get this product so we can see here so this is an acetone in presence of hcn it will give you hydroxy acid so hydroxy acid will be like this this is a compound this is c double c and oh is there addition of nucleophilic addition of hcn will take place around the uh, oxygen and this uh, carbonyl carbon will get hydroxy acid now if we see hydroxy acid is produced from c means c must be this compound on hydrolysis means here oh is replaced by pr because if you see the uh, b compound b is reacting with b is an oxalic acid uh, sorry carboxylic acid and react with the br2 red phosphorus so here on hydrolysis so oh is replaced by the bromine why because bromine is again reacted with this compound and we are getting bromine here so this compound must be like this only Oh no, uh, how we are getting this uh, this product B? So B we are getting from a product called aldehyde. So this product is aldehyde here. So we can see this aldehyde. So now we got two product. So this is an aldehyde, and uh, this is an acetone. So again, uh, taking this one, acetone plus aldehyde. This aldehyde. So this is alkene. So these two compounds, this is a ozonolysis reaction. I have not written here. This is ozonolysis reaction. So in presence of ozonolysis, these two ketone compounds will combine together and will get product. This one. So we will get finally for alkene is this one. Now in this uh, questions, this is the hydrocarbon, which is uh, contains five carbon atoms. This hydrocarbon having five carbon atoms. And uh, in presence of cold dilute alkaline KMnO4, it's converted into compound B. B can be resolvable. The two product will be there. Can you can uh, like uh, it can be converted into two different um, uh, optical isomers. Possible. It can be resolved. Two separate product can be possible. Uh, then further, this compound on oxidation in presence of hot KMnO4 solution will get product C and D. So C is C2H4O2. It will turn uh, blue litmus to red. Means this is an acid, and uh, D is the neutral compound. So we do not react with the failing solutions or tolerance region. So here it is very clear. So this is the alkene plus single oxygen. This alkene plus two oxygen. This is a carboxylic acid, and this must be a compound uh, called ketone. It can't be aldehyde. Now further. A, which is a uh, five carbon atoms reacting with the B, uh, Cl2, CCl4, we are getting E. E is alkene and Cl2, so addition of reaction take place again on dehydrogenation. Again, the product is getting C5H8. So we have two directions. That is this compound C and D. So we can say C and D. These two must be. This is acetone, and this must be acetic acid. So let us see how we will proceed. So we can write here C and D. So this compound is uh, C. So D we can see here. So D is your compound acetone and C is an acetic acid. So these two are uh, produced by the hot KMnO4. So we will go retro synthesis. So retro synthesis these two must be diol compound because if you break this compound, one will convert into alkyl uh, acetone, one will convert to carboxylic acid. Now again, this uh, if you go retro synthesis, back synthesis in presence of cold KMnO4, we can see that this must be here olefin compound. So this is double bond. So A is the five carbon atoms. We can see here five carbon atoms. So this is the five carbon atoms, and alkene is there. 
now chlorine SNCCl4 so this chlorine will be added in two sides it becomes your TCC this is also a resolvable two sides can be possible stereochemistry is there again E in presence of alcoholic KOH so we will get product here two sides one this side and one this side so this is an alkene so we the our final product is a b c d all are these are final product of this reactions now we will see this problem uh, a is in compound c5 h10 so definitely this is an alkene but we don't know what kind of alkene in presence of hbr we will get b b in presence of aqueous silver nitro solution we will get c c5 h12o in presence of hd5 kmno4 we will get d c5 h10o means uh, two hydrogen is uh, decreased so this becomes this must be alkene alkene to alkene so from alkene we can say this must be alcohol and this must be uh, alcoholophenic compound or some cyclic compound we don't know but here it is very clear on catalytic hydrogenation we are getting here this alkene so this must be this is an alkene so alkene is converting into alkene so from here we can guess so what a structure of a should be so either double bond will be in such a way that it will go proceed in this direction so let us see the answer so this is a compound 2 methyl butane this is 2 methyl butane so this is catalytic hydrogenation the a must be this side why this side we will understand we can put this side also we can put this side also we cannot put this side and this side from this side we can form second carbon third, uh, third carbon we cannot put double bond otherwise uh, we will not get the product C and D so see why so if you take this product if you add HBr so Marconka will take place addition of HBr will take place H here Br this side again if you put aqua silver nitro solution Br will be replaced by the OH and again uh, we are giving HD5 KMnO4 solution so in this solution this OH will be converted into ketone so this is C5H10O alkene plus oxygen this is in ketone and again a ketone is there so that's why every answer is clear so if you put here double bond as a take plus one here Br and this one we won't get, we won't get this compound again uh, if you get hd 5 kno 4 reaction will not take place so product like this one will be wrong and if you take the product like this one this is also not possible so only valid is this one so this is the correct this is an alkene compound C5H10 on cold concentrated H2SO4 it is converted into B C5H12O this is the again we can say this is some alcohol again this is converted uh, it is converting chromic acid to blue green color and this compound is oxidized to C5H10 oxygen now oxidized will be oxidized to C5H10O and this is the C product we can also notice that this is alkene so it is it can be easily decolorized by the bromine water and one important information is that B and C can give your ido form reaction so ido form reaction means they are giving this product CSI3 ido form and one is the isobutric acid so from here we can estimate uh, what is the name of the compound this one B we can estimate from here so let us see the solution so in this solution we can see this is the ido form chi3 and this is the isobutric acid if you combine it so we will get the expected product this one c so this is the product equal to c we can see c here like this one and as this product is obtained by oxidation uh, oxida oxidation of b product so b and c b can also give this product C can also give this product. So B, C are the other products. So one is alcohol, one is the ketone product. Again, this is obtained by the cold H2SO4 concentrated. So this product must be so here it is given concentrated H2SO4. So this must be go undergo uh, dehydration reaction. Now acidic uh, uh, acidic hydration reaction. So what will happen? Uh, the compound must be this side. So it compounds will be this one. This side we cannot write. So if you write this side, then ketone will not be formed. 
so we will get two product so only possibility is this side not this side and I, after getting the and this is an alkene alkene easily undergo uh, decolation with bromine water so this is the answer of this question